What's up everybody? So we finally got the ECG feature on the Apple Watch. So I just checked and I have this new update where uh, the ECG will be enabled. Uh, iOS, I'm sorry, watchOS 5.1.2. So I'm gonna install it and give you guys a demo of what an ECG readout looks like on the Apple Watch. All right guys, so the update just completed. So let me give you a demonstration of what the ECG app looks like. So first off, I just wanna give you a warning. This app is only available for American bought Apple Watches right now. It has not been approved for other regions. So if you bought your watch anywhere outside of the US, you're not gonna be able to use this just yet. So here it is, here's that new app. You're gonna wanna click on it. So to set up an ECG open health app on your phone. All right, let me open up the health app. Okay, here we go, set up ECG app. All right, let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. Set up now. All right, date of birth, hang on. All right, so here you go. It says, uh, it's giving you kind of an introduction of what an ECG is and how it works. So ECG records an electrocardiogram. The app checks these pulses to get your heart rate and see if the upper and lower chambers of your heart are in rhythm. If they're out of rhythm, that's atrial fibrillation. All right, continue. Results you may see, sinus rhythm. A sinus rhythm means it's beating in a uniform pattern. Atrial fibrillation, AFib, irregular pattern. And low or high heart rate, inconclusive. All right, so these are the five possible results. I'm sorry, four, sinus, atrial, lower high heart rate, and inconclusive. Wow, I can't speak at all today. All right, so I'm gonna hit continue. And you should know, an ECG app can check your heart rhythm for AFib and show your heart rate. There are some things to remember. It cannot detect a heart attack. It cannot detect blood clots or stroke. It cannot detect other heart-related conditions. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. All right, this is all kind of your standard uh, stuff. All right, so try your first ECG. Recording ECG takes 30 seconds. Open the ECG app on your Apple Watch. Rest your arms on a table or in your lap and hold your finger on the digital crown. All right, let's do this. All right, so here we go. To take an accurate ECG, your Apple Watch needs to be snug on the wrists, selected in the settings. Currently, that's your left wrist. That is correct. Okay, it is snug on my wrist. 30 seconds, all right. Try not to move your arms. Apple Watch never checks for heart attacks, of course. Inconclusive, all right. This ECG is inconclusive, it'll still be saved. If you repeatedly get the result or you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. All right, so it seems like you can add symptoms and stuff. So it looks like my um, ECG was inconclusive. What I'm gonna do is give it a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna try again. So right here on my phone, it does say setup complete uh, and it does give you the ECG is inconclusive and uh, this chart right here. So what I'm gonna hit do is uh, save this for now. Uh, you can hit done and save this and I'm just going to try again in two minutes. All right, so I just figured it out. I figured out why I was getting the inconclusive result. The thing is that the entire sensor has to be covered. The entire crown has to be covered uh, by your finger. If you are, because right now it's on my uh, uh, wrist, what happens is I had to kind of press down on my uh, skin here to get in contact with the entire uh, sensor here so if you guys are having inconclusive results try that make sure your entire finger is on the sensor so I'm gonna show you guys one more time right now all right one two three there we go sinus rhythm so this is a normal uh, just it means that there are no signs of AFib and we're good to go. So I am no doctor by any means. I have no idea how the system works. Uh, all I know is that it uses uh, a uh, a signal from your wrist. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I My words are just completely messed up today. So it uses a signal from uh, your right finger, right index finger, and it uses uh, a signal from your wrist right here. So I'm gonna guess it's maybe the pulse or something like that. I'm not sure, I have no idea how this works, but it does work. Just make sure that you're covering the entire sensor uh, right here. So let me take off my watch to show you what I mean. So right here, you guys can, uh, let me focus really quick. You guys can see this black ring. So I don't have the cellular model, but 
you want to cover your entire finger on this sensor because that's when it will get you an accurate reading otherwise what's going to happen is it's going to say inconclusive because it didn't get a clear enough reading so that's it that's a demo of the apple watch series 4 ecg feature i've been waiting for this forever and i am so glad we finally got it back uh, I'm sorry, we finally get it, not got it back. It was never taken away from us. And speaking about that uh, health app, let me just show you what the ECG results look like on my phone. So I'm gonna keep it zoomed, zoomed in on purpose just to just so you guys can get a clear look here. And you guys can see this is my last result, the sinus rhythm. If I tap on it, you guys can see the ECG detail. Uh, the ECG does not show any signs of AFib, export a PDF for your doctor, and it gives you all the start time, end time, uh, and all the watch details as well, uh, including the version, the feature version. So uh, I'm pretty sure that they're going to have a very easy like time helping you out with your ECG. If you need to send it out to your doctor, they can make sure that everything's looking good. Uh, and if you don't know what your result means, just tap this little eye here and you get a full readout of what a sinus rhythm means. And a sinus rhythm in this case is just, uh, just it's normal. Uh, if you get AFib, low, high pressure, that's when things kind of would mean that you have to make an appointment with your doctors. So that wraps it up for this video, guys. I am just completely amazed with uh, this technology. Uh, I was too when they announced it, but now it just when you have it in your own hands and you see the results, it is just really cool. So let me know what you guys think about this feature and let me know if you have a chance to try it out. I know a lot of people were getting inconclusive results. I was too at the beginning, so just keep in mind, make sure your entire finger covers the sensor and you should be good to go. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.